Hello everybody and welcome back. This is going to be the first video in my Copeless Application Development Series or playlist where I'm essentially going to be covering the idea of Copeless Application Development, topics including why you should consider this, what are the benefits, and then start to review some services to hopefully help you to decide if this is a good fit for you, and if so, evaluate what may be the best service to use. Now this video is going to be all about codeless application development, what it is, and just kind of helping you to understand why it may be a fit for you. Now before we get started, as always, please don't forget to like and subscribe and check back into the channel for new content. Now here I have three websites pulled up. I'll put the link to each in the description. But what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and look through TechSlang really quickly. Now, I'm not endorsed by any of these websites. I'm just recommending them. They're websites I found online and thought offered some pretty good overviews and would be worth noting here. So <clears throat> in short, Codeless Application Development is pretty self-explanatory. It's creating an application without needing to know code. So the idea is, just like it says here, it allows practically anyone those with no programming or development backgrounds to create their own applications using graphical user interfaces, also called GUIs or GUIs. So essentially, the idea is any individual who decides, you know what, I have an amazing deal for an application. It's not out there. I wish it could, or I wish I could put it out there, but I don't know how to create an app and I don't want to pay someone to do it. Well, now you can do it yourself. So the idea here is, you're going to use something like a graphical user interface, so a drag and drop style interface, sometimes referred to as a WYSIWYG editor, known as what you see is what you get, and you could create an application. So we'll give a couple of examples shortly, but I want to note typically on a team, you would need something like, um, I'll just run through a typical team role in the tech space. So this is from Software Hut. Again, the link will be in the description, but you may need product managers, product owners for larger teams, may need a tech lead or team lead, and then you're likely going to need a full stack developer, a front end developer, back end developer, QA leads or engineers, testers, and then UI and UX designers. The idea is you need people to design the interface and the user experience, and then you need the people to test the product and make sure that everything's working. And then you're likely going to need these people that are actually creating the front end, so the user facing side, and then the back end. So those essentially like business logic and data layers. So you're bypassing the need for all of that and drastically reducing your initial overhead by choosing a codeless application development service. The downside is with these full stack teams or with these larger teams in the tech space, you often are going to have uh, the ability to do more. So if you ask, hey, I would like to have this feature or this function. Um, I'm not saying it's all the always possible, but often they can get together and figure out how to make things happen, as opposed to some of these application development services where there's a limitation. So now we're going to run into an example real quick. So this is AppGyver's website. I have a video in this series that kind of gives an overview of why I really enjoy this service. So it's free to users under uh, 10 million in revenue. There are some specifics to what the service provides, but I highly recommend it. Um, and again, in that video, I'll explain the good, the bad, and all of that. And that's later on in the series. But the idea is you'll have all of these elements on the left-hand side. You can drag these into this interface here, which is essentially going to be your mobile app. And then you can kind of work with the logic here on the right-hand side. Now, this is going to be a little bit more technical than some of the other codeless app services, but because of that, it does allow you to create quite a bit of functionality. So to give you one more example of how this works, I'm just going to open up something simple like Microsoft Publisher. So in Microsoft Publisher, you can click on Draw Text Box, and you can create a text box here, and you can type in whatever text you need. Now you notice that you didn't need to know any kind of programming to do this. All you needed to know was how to use these buttons and how to draw and edit. It's the same thing with codeless application development, except this will create a little bit more in the back end, but often a lot of these platforms have an interface that's set up to walk you through how to do this very efficiently with minimal technical knowledge. So that's kind of the idea of what codeless application development is. In the next video, I'm going to cover more in depth about uh, the 
basically what it is, why you should consider it, and then we will start jumping into some user reviews. If you have any questions, just let me know, drop them in the comment box below, and I'll see you all in the next video.